So I noticed my neighbor have not been going to work for a while now. So today I decided to approach her to know why. She said she quit her job because her office are consistently refused to give her permission to participate in a church choir riaza. <laughs> Topic for the day. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm people. Welcome back again to my channel. If it's your first time coming across the channel, do it to click on the subscribe button down below. Turn on bell notification so you get notified anytime I upload a new video. So, guys, in today's video, we are going to be reacting to some tweets, tweets we saw online. <laughs> hmm. That is just somehow. So we just want to react to it. In case you don't know this man, this is my husband, guys. Hi, so everybody. let's get right into the video. So what would you rather say or tell this woman in question if mm. she's your neighbor? Let assume you are the one that tweets this tweet. Okay. <laughs> that you approach your neighbor and she said, hey, sorry, I quit my job because my boss or my job consistently denied me for participating in choir Riaza. What would you say to her? Oh, for me, I'll say this is a funny tweet, guys. It's really funny. For me, I'll say if a church will give her a rent <laughs> and if a church will be giving her money to feed herself, no problem. It's okay. But <laughs> if the church is not going to provide anything for her, rather than maybe going there to pray, I'm not saying that church is not good. Church is good. Of course, I'm a Christian. But Quitting your job just to go for choir as a master. For me, the only thing I got to tell her in question, bravo, I believe <laughs> you quit your job simply because you are still living with your parents. Okay, yeah, that was a good point. Yeah. That's the <laughs> only point. Because you know mommy is going to cook. <laughs> yeah. Because if you live in a Western world, <laughs> you quit your job. <laughs> You're gonna hungry. <laughs> There's nothing like landlord. I will pay you next month. Next month. Is not in existence. You are going to sleep in the street. It is not in existence. <laughs> landlord, I'm owing you one month. See, you cannot be even holding landlord two weeks. It's not allowed. So you, you can't outside. even imagine yourself quitting a job because uh, you want to please a uh, uh, shock. Sorry, in quotes, I'm not trying to discriminate that uh, you should serve God. I'm a Christian, just like she says, she's also a Christian. I'm just putting myself in this lady's shoe bro or sis whoever you are quitting your job <laughs> sunday is enough yeah sunday is so enough. if you so much love christ or you want to work for church sunday is let enough. the church employ you yeah you can, for, you can be a full-time choir and the church will be paying you for it no yes possible but if you are still in upcoming church and you want to make such sacrifice my sister you will be a teresa <laughs> And the only thing I'm telling you this because I know some pastors know how to sugarcoat and mislead their members. Oh, well, sugar. Because at the end of the day, the church is feeding the pastor and the pastor is living okay on his own. And if the church is already big, the pastor is living with the church feed and is not paying you for your duty and you just felt like i want to that's how some church mislead some women or some of their workers 40 years they will this our church i have decided to serve christ and no time pastor will want to encourage them sister Jiro, you have done well but fine husband i know so you deserve god doing all this thing will not deny <laughs> <laughs> no as it is the truth some people will be in church eh? 10 years, like 30 something, 20 something, no, 20 something is okay, 30 something, 40 something. And the pastor will not find a day to, or a few hours to call the girl and say, the girl, you have done well. You have served God with all your heart. I think it's time for you to find out. No, like, the pastor will be telling him, heaven is your goal. Heaven is, and the pastor this. have wife and kids that are living with at home, but he will tell you, Heaven is the goal. And you now you say yes. That's I'm why it is always good to select the kind of church you go. If you are going to a church which pastor always needs more of your attention in the church without encouraging, because if you even find a reasonable pastor will not even find a youth in his church Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all time in the service without calling this brother. Yeah, exactly. What are you doing what with your you? life? Like in, in between the space, what are you doing? 
I always know that you are regular. It's good to be regular. But what do you do after service? What what is what what's your occupation in life? What what do you do? If the pastor is not talking about it and it's just so much comfortable within a year, two years, you are in that ministry, bro. You have not found the place of uh, worship. You should look for a better place to fellowship. Leaving church does not mean you leave God. Yes. You only change church. People need to understand that. Leaving church, changing, switching from one church to another does not mean you, you change, change God. God. It does not mean you are wicked. It does not mean you are no longer a Christian. It's... I only change church. I did not change God. It's not if change the sermon God. that preaching for me there is not suitable. Because I don't see this girl, I don't know. Maybe she, she has other source of income or whatsoever, or maybe she has saved enough, save enough money to start up or establish her own business whereby she can be a boss to take more time. But she just quit this job to stay home because there's no job, either a Christian job, Muslim job, or pagan job, or whatsoever job out there that will say, eh, no worry, they go quiet meeting. You apply for that job because they need you that moment, they will that call to anything you're going to see. Until they they employ you, they start restricting you. Sorry, it time to close is seven o'clock. Because if we allow you to be leaving by four, you will be making the rest workers to feel like, oh, why is she going? Me too, I'm also a Christian. I have a, I have to also go to some practice. So then that business will not flourish. So you have to respect your work. If your boss said, hey, you have to be coming to work regularly, no problem. But if you say it's better for you, you quit, stay home, and look for another job that you felt like, okay, they will give you time to, to the group. So moving on. Okay. I find this tweet and I'm going to read it out. A lady tweeted and she said, Stop sleeping with your house girls. Each day you climb that girl, you reduce your wife's worth, value, and respect. Bravo. But somebody responded just beneath that tweet. And the person said, Listen, everyone, I'm very sorry for this comment, but that is the truth. If a housewife valued herself, she will be valued. But very many of them didn't value themselves at all. For example, what is the meaning of I'm not in the mood in marriage? If Ashago can tackle 10 men to satisfaction in a day, you have no excuse to get out of the marriage for the house help that is ready to take over from you. Let no lady come after me because I will shock you. Hmm. Hmm. Like, it's just so funny what some people go online <laughs> to say. Like, they will just want to open their mouth. Wow. Like, the way this person would normally say, they will just open their mouth. Wow. I rub it. I rub it. Go out the throw away from, 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 from their mouth. You, when you first met this woman, let's come from this angle. We are knocking, doing those things everywhere and now she has kids and maybe she has one or two kids and maybe nothing for every day or maybe you just the way this man is talking you can easily say it's not every day maybe the day you touch her that day she's tired she's not tell you I, i'm tired so you will not compare her with people that are standing on the street i don't understand that matter that you open to compare your wife with people standing on the street that those ones if they can do a 10 minute those ones is their profession. This woman is your <laughs> wife. <laughs> so, a lotion and profession. <laughs> they choose do to lady? do it. I, I show for a yeah, I some is, uh, they will say I do cup. So, it, this is your wife. What is different between a cup, a lotion, and a shower? Ah, now, now the package where they call the use now, now, nah, as in the so, old cup. Let me not draw you out of the uh, the conversation. For me, I believe the guy is trying to make sense out of not, rubbish yeah because i can't just imagine you trying to balance the your your response or your thoughts with with a unreasonable thoughts like hey uh 10 men like one woman satisfy 10 men so are you not trying to tell your woman that mm -hmm. if you want to sleep with her 10, 10 times, times a day that she should be ready whoa and they may, some men really don't understand that once a woman gets married, that the same drive that you got coming to that marriage is not the same drive that you can keep as time goes on because there are some activities. When you guys were like, okay, let's come together, it was like both of you, no responsibility, you have enough time to do. But 
This time around, you have to go to work. The woman have a lot of things to take care of the children. Sometimes go to work, cook, and all that. Every day cannot be the same. But the only time I will have two, because I have to respond to the two tweets, because the first one said, men should stop climbing their house help. But why would a woman mm. even think of having a house help in the, in the house in the so guys, while editing this video, I realized my mic stopped working. So what I was explaining here is that people bring herself to help them around the house to look after their children, especially those ones that are working. They can't just do everything all by themselves. They need someone to still help them around the house. If not because they will be Europe, like they ask of course, even me, I for need to. I'm not even joking because sometimes as a mother, you just get tired. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll hand it up here.